trabalhava na Dado, na CS, na Ministro de Evolução da Nasa, na Tigueira, na PS, já colegas em Chado de Evolução, na State Department, as well as uh, our special program with our team. And uh, we are here to just uh, let uh, the country know that uh, we leave the drought situation uh, in the northern part of the country is uh, worsening with time. Our experts have been able to show us that uh, indeed uh, the short rains did not do very well in the 2018 uh, short rain season. And the long rains uh, have equally delayed. The temperatures being experienced in the country are abnormally high. As we speak, and I spoke to the governor, Turkana County, uh, Governor Nanok, we were saying temperatures in Turkana are as high as 5 degrees centigrade, the highest they have been, and that is uh, almost close to Middle East. Similarly, I spoke to Governor Ali Roba of Mandera, <coughs> and he's saying Mandera is also experiencing abnormally high temperatures of over 42 degrees. And uh, this has caused uh, the pasture to uh, dry up, some water pans to dry up. So the food situation, as well as the water situation, uh, has uh, deteriorated to the extent that uh, it has affected the livestock, as well as the people. The hardest hit, of course, is uh, Tulukana uh, County. And we want to thank uh, the media as our partner in terms of highlighting uh, some of the uh, these areas that are uh, affected, but also to uh, uh, request that uh, we uh, verify facts, particularly in the reporting that we have received of loss of lives. Uh, we do recall that we had a, a similar situation where we had a drought for two years. This drought did not only affect Kenya. And what we are saying that is not a local issue, it is a global issue in terms of issues of climate change, in terms of uh, issues of global warming, and it's a, 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 an issue that affected uh, the entire Horn of Africa. But as a country, uh, Kenya was able to put in place interventions, and we did not lose any life during the last drought, uh, unlike some of our, our neighboring countries that actually lost lives. Indeed, what we did confirm is that uh, we lost some lives during floods uh, in areas like Ukambani, in areas like Tana River. And uh, with the situation that is uh, upon us today, we just want to assure the country, <coughs> as a ministry in charge of special programs, that uh, first with a situation such as this, our first line of defense as a country is the county government affected. And in this regard, we want to thank uh, Governor Nanok and the county government of Turkana, which has been greatly affected for moving fast and uh, putting in place the necessary remedial measures to help his people in Turkana to ensure that this food uh, transported in affected areas, as well as water tracking uh, being uh, done in affected areas. But as of last week, uh, he did uh, reach out to us that uh, he has more or less exhausted uh, what they had set aside as the county government. And they have now requested us as national government to step in. From tomorrow, we will be moving to Turkana uh, to work in collaboration with the county government of uh, Turkana, as well as uh, our partners, to ensure that the people affected uh, are uh, given reprieve in terms of food, and uh, already as we speak, we have mobilized enough food to the affected sub-counties. We are talking of about 192,000 people affected from the estimates as of yesterday, almost 200,000 people. And the areas where we will be visiting tomorrow, together with the leadership of uh, Turkana County, uh, members of parliament that uh, we have consulted with, some of the areas we are looking at are Kibish uh, in Turkana North, there are areas that are affected like Loima. Uh, there are areas in uh, Turkana East, 
that uh, we will also be visiting. And uh, we will also be going to the south, uh, where we will be uh, taking food to Lalapat, as well as Trukana West and East. The Pedo area is affected, and we will be uh, moving together with the leaders uh, in the areas that have been affected. So today is just to give that assurance that apart from uh, what the county government has done, national government from tomorrow will be on the ground to work with the people of Turkana County. And it will not just be uh, the Minister of Special Programs. We will also be working closely with our sister ministries of water to ensure that we resume water tracking in areas affected. We'll also be working with the Ministry of uh, Agriculture and Livestock to ensure that the necessary interventions to uh, uh, help the livestock uh, affected will also be put in place. Equally, we'll be working with the Ministry of Health to ensure that those that are affected are also uh, given support. Equally, uh, we'll be working with the Ministry of Internal Security. As you know, with scarcity of water, the likelihood of conflict over the uh, sparse uh, resources are very, very likely. And in some areas we've seen uh, that already happening, where pastoralists uh, uh, will get conflicts over water and pasture. So we will be stepping in also to ensure that uh, there's peace building between uh, communities and we avoid uh, conflicts and loss of life as an escalation of uh, the situation that uh, the, the country is facing. And we're not just talking about Turkana. From Turkana, we will be going to Mandera. We'll also be going to Darissa, Baringo, Kilifi, Tana River, West Pokot, Masabit, Makweni, Kajado, Kwale, and Isiolo County. In total, we have about 12 counties. And the population affected so far, we have an estimate of about 165,000 Kenyans that uh, we will be uh, moving into to support. Uh, in the meantime, we are urging all county governments, as required, they are uh, supposed to set aside emergency funds to address emergencies such as this. They are our first line of defense to ensure that there's no loss of life, and we will be coming in now as a national government to support them, to complement what they have already been doing. So we'll urge them just the way Turkana has uh, worked hard. Uh, we urge other counties to do the same, and we want to assure them that help is on the way, and we will be going down to, uh, to work with them. So let me thank you uh, once more and just assure you that uh, uh, we will be uh, addressing, uh, we'll be making further statements once we're on the ground in Turkana tomorrow. After visiting all the affected areas, we'll be there for two days. We'll be mobilizing food tomorrow and Saturday, after which we'll then move to uh, Mandera and the other counties of our listed. So thank you for uh, working with us to uh, alert uh, the country and the international community about the situation. And we'll also uh, request that uh, for any information or verification, please check with us the facts so that we can be able to uh, work together. As I conclude, I want to say that uh, climate change uh, is here with us. There are those who still think it's a hoax. I was in Kirinyaga for the devolution conference. I believe some of you are there with us. Kirinyaga has never been that hot and other parts of this country are experiencing temperatures that have never been experienced before. And uh, we want to say that we must work together so that as we move forward, as a ministry responsible for uh, the Asal counties, we do not wish to be taking relief food, year in, year out, relief food to the, the Asal counties. We want to work on a paradigm shift from relief to resilience. So we want to see how we can build on that water harvesting uh, strategies, build on, uh, uh, building on our water infrastructure and irrigation, so that uh, with the big four uh, focus that we had in Kirinyaga, food security can become a reality and we do not have Kenyans facing the danger that they're facing now because of our challenges of climate change. So let me thank you once more and maybe request you if you have some questions. Uh, we will clarify, we have all the officers in charge here uh, who are, running the programs that uh, we'll be starting tomorrow.